Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Saving the Disaster campaign, the Grandier Debacle, where I'm trying to save Mr. Ace campaign from getting sideways. So a couple more episodes I think and we're on a good track. Still need to get rid overall of Alien Cipher as a dark event. Once that is happening we're free to go to South America and also get a couple more uh, personal combat sims and weapon upgrades which will help to kind of bring this all back in the right direction and Illyrium of course in order to upgrade the weapons. We already got uh, the research for armor upgrades but we're missing Illyrium. So all is sort of depending on the right resources but we'll eventually get there. For today I brought a well-versed uh, team as you can see as the core of the team we're using again Ranger Specialist Grenadier Sniper. We're bringing uh, the President back, aka uh, the Reaper, and uh, I'm continuing to skill Wally. -E. Since I know there are a couple of uh, m mechanical units, we're going in with the blue screen rounds as a standard uh, for our ammunition. And off we go right into the mission. So we're landing. Let's see what we're dealing with. The missions have become easier lately, which is a good sign because it shows that our equipment is actually very much keeping up with the enemies. Got some nice little high ground up here. So that'll be interesting. And of course we got a Reaper. Um... Yeah, let's go all the way up here. Cool, easy enough. We're moving in uh, with our spark. And since we have already figured out that there are No further enemies there. No need to ask twice. Might as well start moving up. That's affirmative. Thanks to our grappling suit. Ah, we might be able to grapple up next turn. For now, let's uh, stand over here. We're trying to not end in the open. There is a lack of a distinct lack of cover up here. Yeah, but we're overall fine. I can hear a sectoport or an Andromedon. Yes, the ground was shaking. The invaders send a patrol. Yeah, and as always with uh, small maps, you are very much confined. To fight uh, multiple packs at a time, but I think we're in a decent position. So, first and foremost, moving out. We're moving up. Only four enemies up here. That should be very much doable. Roger that. Ranger is moving all the way to here. Grenadier does not have Salvo, but we do have Death from Above, which is a fantastic ability. Running. Trying to stand out of line of sight of that third pack here, so that in case of uh, bad things we are only forced to fight two and not three packs at the same time Running. all right next turn we're going to engage
that Pecky even does us the favor of moving so far away that uh, they will only add next turn. That's a double hit, fabulous. Um, and it's not even hitting um, the, uh, the target, so that's not too bad. I need to get up and then also get around here. So since these guys will become visible, I'm wondering if we already set up for next turn, but we do have some more time, so we don't need to immediately go for it. This here is a great start, uh, but we'll break uh, concealment. So I wonder, it's not the best kill zone ever, but it is a decent one. We can play a little bit around with that. This will be big. Alrighty, so moving up here, okay? Shredding the mech. Um, okay, well that was a mistake. What happened here is uh, Remote Start didn't break our concealment. I played uh, modded XCOM 2 long. Uh, my last run was uh, with a little bit of a different uh, set um, of mods where all of the actions are actually breaking it. I forgot uh, this is not the case here, but it's okay. I mean, it, it's really not a uh, problem. We're going to clean this up from with death from above. The advantage of uh, of not breaking concealment is that we actually uh, can fully commit to kill them because they have also not moved into, uh, into cover. The disadvantage is I am seeing that uh, there is a bit of a burning here. I don't like that at all. Okay, wait, 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 I saw something else. There is a guy back here that apparently belonged to the pack. If we move in, that'll be problematic. Uh, I don't want to, but let's hope that the explosion will not destroy the package. This fire here is completely random. Uh, the explosion circle actually ended here, so it is very, it was very unlikely that that would happen. Um, let's reload. Oh, yeah, we do have uh, auto loader now. I forgot about that. You know that was good. All right, never mind. Good. I go where I am needed. Explosion of the truck. Explosion of the truck does only happen in the front uh, part. So... One of the things that we can do... We could cheekily open the truck. I am mostly concerned about actually 
missing out on the objective, which is why well, you see me going to that extended length. Of opening the doors. Hmm. Yeah, that back here is a bit of a problem. You can still see sparks, which means there is a chance that this might actually explode. This is risky, but given the circumstances, it might be the right thing to do. Sacrificing one grenade to get the back of the truck off. There we go, that worked like a charm. And that gives us finally the remote hack opportunity that I was looking for. Bit of a cheeky play, I must admit, but today you learned something about how to deal with those situations. Good enemies will now start to pile in on us and will actually start to move in. Which for me would mean I would like to stand in a somewhat safe position over here is okay. I forgot what, uh, I think it was run and gun, right? Yeah, but we don't want uh, to give the enemy mobility. Not happening. Instead, move over here. And figure out that that was not a good idea. But it's okay, it's potentially not the worst idea uh, ever, and I'll tell you why. Because now, we don't need to fight two packs the next time. Hmm. Hmm. So, moving over here, I think we can uh, shred this guy, and we could uh, fully kill, okay let's take away the cover and make sure that we kill the codex. Good, all cover options are taken away. Codex shredded. Uh, make shredded. Codex killed. We do have death from above on the ranger. Getting this guy down um, at the same time. Running over here. Range is negatively impacting us. We could move to here. I 
I think I like the play. That's okay. There we go. Very solid hit. And that's the kill. No. Okay, well, he's still burning. Oh, and we got a hair trigger. Yeah, I'll take the 80%. Target neutralized. All right, death from above. Gives us enough time to reload. Good, not a big surprise. We're being spotted out. starting with actual reload first ah uh, we did have uh, free reload oh never mind moving over here nice shredding for the sector pod Continuing to shred the sector pod. Um, who is going to take extra, an extra overwatch? I think our heavy here could use that. And blue screen rounds are starting to deal with the sector pod. Heading over teamwork. Softening up the sector pod. Kill for death from above. If I move in, we might see another pack. That's a better uh, choice, but we're doing it even better than that. Placing explosive. That plus remote start into double explosion. We can see the other pack is standing right over here, so thanks, but no thanks. We're not going to go in, just want to make sure we're killing all of the enemies. Getting into full cover, and there we go.
Last pack triggers as expected. But that's okay. Cover me. I'm reloading. Good, this should shred him. And almost kill him. Reload into kill. That removes the shields. Fantastic. Frostbiting to get better shots because he would lose his cover. Dead eye to set this guy up. Good hit. Kill into death from above. And since this is the last guy, just going to remove the cover. Pretty easy mission so far. Not much uh, that was going against us. Oh yeah. Locked and loaded. Upper ready. Covering now. <laughs> okay. That was like a above seventy percent chance to hit. Yep, good old mind control. How did we miss it? Anyways, there is a, always a good chance to counter mind control, mainly shotgun to the face. Hostiles terminated. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Okay, straight forward. I think. Uh, mm, we had uh, used the timers quite well, also the packs one at a time, you, good, uh, good usage of uh, cooldowns, could have potentially done it with less cooldowns even. And I even forgot uh, to, use the mim uh, to bring the Mimic Beacons, should bring more of them in the future. Outloader good, expanded magazine also not bad. And we got more intel. <laughs> and even more intel. The game really wants us to get more intel now. Well, I can tell you if you finally take that stupid uh, dark event, uh, alien cipher away, then we can spend our intel. But we're finishing this. We're going to slow them down. We'll need to move back. Commander, there were a few wounded during the latest covert action. And we got the next stronghold unlocked. Very good. Another piece of information about the chosen and their schemes. Dodge plus eight needs to go on to the Templar. Our troops are ready to deploy. We should launch a strike as soon as possible. All level characters can help. And yeah, that should be easy enough. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. Good, we got ourselves a facility lead, and with that, we also will start to infiltrate that next facility. It has one blip. Okay, I was like, what? Why doesn't it have a blip? But no, it does. We're going to take that off, um, plus the covert action will take two additional blips off. So we should be fine. 
So today was a bit of a shorter episode. Next time we're going to do a facility. Then hopefully Alien Cipher comes off sooner or later. And eventually we're going to infiltrate South America and finally get more Elarium, which we desperately need in order to upgrade the guns and the, uh, and the equipment. If you enjoyed uh, the sweet, sweet mission today, leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Take care and bye bye.